everyone, this is Mr. Benino from Gainesville Middle School, and I've got my bridge all built. Today I'm going to try to do a test to see how much weight it holds. So there's a couple parameters to keep in mind. Remember that the bridge has to be at least 14 inches long, at least 4 inches tall, and then what you can do, there's a bunch of ways to do this. Um, I just set up some blocks of wood here and try to keep them level and put the bridge on that to test it. Um, you can have an inch and a half on each side here overlapping. So what I did is I drew an inch and a half line on this board and this board and just set my bridge between those. So that's going to be my span there. I can have an inch and a half this way, inch and a half this way. Then there's, a, and typically in class, we build bridges like this at a, at a balsa. Um, and we tested them with a bucket that just would hang on the top of the bridge and we put sand in it until they broke. Um, that's a little more complicated. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to put weight on top. Now, there's a bunch of ways to do this. Really, it doesn't matter, because what I'm going to do is use a, just a household bathroom scale to weigh myself and then weigh the weight that it holds. Um, a bucket is, is, is not a bad idea. Um, you can have a, your, your span here can be 11 inches that you're testing. So this bucket's under 11. I could set a bucket on top like this, put weight in it. I could pour, you know, I have some uh, salt softener for our water system. I could pour that in it. Um, sand, bricks, cans of food really just anything because again the, the, the key to this is when you're done you can weigh it on top of a bathroom scale weigh your weigh, weigh yourself and hold the weights and see how much weight that is um, I have some actual weights just from you know uh, exercising and uh, I'm gonna try to use those to put on top all right so again 14 inches span minimum four inches height minimum inch and a half can overhang on each side um, now when you do this, make sure you get some safety glasses because we don't know how this is going to break. Make sure you get your parents to help you do this. Let me go grab my glasses and I'll be back to do the test. Alright, so now I've got the safety glasses and I'm going to try to put some weight on top of this and see what happens. And again, um, obviously if we have a smaller block of wood or something here, you can do it that way. Drill a hole through the block and kind of make a device like we used to use in class. But again, for me, I'm just gonna put some weight on top till it breaks. Keeping this centered is gonna be one of the tricks so it doesn't just fall. All right, I've got 30 pounds on it. 40. There's 50. There's 60. There's 70. There's 80. Oh, and here cracking. There's 85. There's 90. There's 95. <laughs> That's how it works. So that bridge broke at 95 pounds. Um, now again, I can if I'd use a different method of, of weight, like use a bucket and pour weight in or something like that, um, I could just weigh how much that held. But because I had some weights, I just did it that way. So a bunch of ways to do this. Uh, that was a lot of fun. You can see why we wear safety glasses. Get your parents to help you. Otherwise, do not do it. We want to be safe and make sure everybody uh, has a good time, but is safe. And, uh, you know, obviously keep your bridge fairly low to the ground because when it breaks, all that weight's going to come crashing down. Um, so you can see mine was maybe six inches off the ground, something like that. All right. Thanks, everybody. 95 pounds is the way we got. <laughs> thanks.